Every year at Radwood, I try to bring a fresh set of cars. I have a collection of about 80 cars, and most of them do have a story behind it. They're special in their own way. Some of them are limited production cars. Some of them are celebrity owned. This year, the cars that I took were all ones that were built by CMS Motorsports, which is my company. And this year, I wanted to showcase some of the Mercedes cars that I have. I got to the shop about 5.30 and we pulled the cars out and at about 6 o'clock we started loading the trailer. The cars we were loading all are lowered on spoilers and such so we had to be very careful not to damage any of the car parts. We had eight cars to load up on the carrier. One car was going with a tow truck and there was two that was going to be driven. Radwood is a nationwide show and the SoCal show is just, it's an amazing gathering of people. 80s and 90s cars, music, clothing. There was the Back to the Future DeLorean with all the Back to the Future bits. These Toyota trucks with these three wheelers on it. People bring in things out of the garages that you've never seen before or you haven't seen for quite some time. And you see some absolute time capsules out there which are unbelievable. The whole experience at Radwood, it really takes you back. This year we had a break dancing show with some of the best dancers in LA. Candies from the 80s, Abba Zabba's, Pop Rocks, Fun Dips, you name it, we had it. I had some of my BMX bikes as a kid, some of my childhood go-karts. We had a step and repeat with a cool Ferrari cutout from the 80s for people to take photos in. I just wanted everyone to come and feel like they're coming back to the 80s when they came into my booth. One of the cars in my booth that's kind of the highlight of the show is my 1984 SGS Gullwing Mercedes. And this thing, you know, once the doors go up, it's a showstopper. We had a briefcase full of money on the hood with a brick phone, total Miami Vice out of the 80s. And the car that ended up winning Best Domestic is my personal car, which is a 1989 Ford Mustang Dominator GTB. This is one of nine made, three of which were race cars, six of which were street versions. So this is one of the six. The car has original 32,000 miles. It's been untouched, unrestored. It does have the wide body kit. It has the interior enhancements with the flow fit seats, period correct HRE wheels. Back in the 90s, it was probably the most radical Fox body that you can purchase. And this one in particular was just well kept over the years. So it truly makes it a special piece. The outfit that I was wearing is truly a vintage Adidas jumpsuit from the 80s. So I ended up actually winning the award, best dressed, which was amazing. Everybody loved it. I mean, it was really a kick and I enjoyed wearing it. I can't wait till the next show in 2022. Try to make it out there. It's an amazing show, amazing event. The guys at Radwood and the organizers, they just do an amazing job. It's just a blast in every single possible way. Next year, I'm gonna take another set of cars that haven't been seen. Be sure to stop by our booth and take a look at what we have to offer because we're super excited.